It is April 7th, 2023. I'm at the Georgia Southern Armstrong University campus. Disc golf course, aka frisbee golf, but I guess the word frisbee is trademarked. And this here is, I think, the largest small flower pawpaw that I found growing here because this one is further, far enough back that it doesn't get chopped to the ground every few years. So this one has the biggest leaves that I've seen so far. Look at that ant. Don't crawl on my hand. This one has the biggest leaves and it's got, come on camera, there's some fruit form in there. Gently wipe off the petals. So it's gonna be at least three pieces of fruit, I think. Down here on this itty bitty little stem, we got, I'll try to tilt it. We got a flower there, we got a flower bud over there. The remains of a flower. This one didn't get pollinated. Oh, and there's some more fruit back here. And then over here, some more flowers. Uh, that one's still new. The other two didn't get pollinated, so they'll probably fall off. Like I said, it is April 7th. Uh, the color isn't really showing up properly on my phone, but if you look at the very base here, it is starting to turn an orangish brown color. And then up there at the top, it's still light green. Soon in the coming weeks, this whole thing will turn a really distinct and bright rusty orange color. Which is a really good way to tell small flower pawpaws apart from common pawpaws. And easy way to see them because well, once you know what to look for, you will see that orange whenever you're looking for it. And then we can see at the base of each leaf here, that round bud, that will be next year's flowers. And that's how, that's one way you can tell if a pawpaw is going to flower next year because they start growing the buds in the year before. So this one's obviously old enough to flower because it's got fruit there. But if there weren't any fruit and flowers on it now, we would be able to tell just from those buds that it will be flowering next year. So, yeah, here's the, oh, yeah, I can also show you the texture thing. One good way to tell small flower pawpaws, especially if they have big leaves like this one does. Motorcycle, apart from common pawpaws, is how smooth the leaf is. This leaf is really smooth. If this were a common pawpaw, between each horizontal vein on the leaf, common pawpaws tend to get really puffy, so they have a really wrinkly texture. I can't really show you because there's none right here, but the college here does have three trees planted, so I will go over there then and make a video of those to compare. I'm not going to take a leaf off of this one because it's just so healthy, so I want it to keep growing. But yeah, I'll include that video so you can compare them. Alright, bye bye.